On this, the tenth day of our preparation for total consecration of Jesus through Mary, we're given a citation from the Imitation of Christ, Book 3, for our meditation. Now will I speak again, O Lord, and will not be silent. I will say in the hearing of my God and my King who is on high, Oh, how great is the abundance of your sweetness, O Lord, which you have hidden from those that fear you. But what are you for those who love you? What to those who serve you with their whole heart? Unspeakable indeed is the sweetness of your contemplation, which you bestowed on those who love you. In this most of all, you have showed me the sweetness of your love, that when I had no being, you didst make me. And when I was straying far from you, you brought me back again, that I might serve you, and you have commanded me to serve you. O fountain of everlasting love, what shall I say to you? How can I forget you? You who has vouchsafed to remember me even after I was corrupted and lost. Beyond all hope, you showed mercy to your servant. Beyond all desert, have you manifested thy grace and friendship. What return shall I make to you for this favor? For it is granted to all who forsake these things to renounce the world and to assume the monastic life. Is it much that I should serve you, whom the whole creation is bound to serve? It ought not to seem much to me to serve you, but this does rather appear great and wonderful to me, that you have desired to receive me so wretched and unworthy as your servant. It is a great honor, a great great glory to serve you and to despise all things for you, For they who willingly subject themselves to your holy service shall have great grace. You, they shall experience the most sweet consolation of the Holy Spirit, who for the love of you has cast aside all carnal delight. And so we pray together the Veni Creator. Come, O Creator, Spirit blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. Great Paraclete, to thee we cry, O highest gift of God most high, O font of life, O fire of love, and sweet anointing from above. Thou in thy sevenfold gifts art known, the finger of God's hand we own. The promise of the Father thou, who dost the tongue with power endow. Kindle our senses from above and make our hearts o'erflow with love, with patience firm and virtue high, the weakness of our flesh supply. Far from us drive the foe we dread and grant us thy true peace instead. So shall we not with thee for guide turn from the path of life aside. O may thy grace on us bestow, the Father, and the Son to know, and Thee, through endless times confessed, of both the eternal Spirit blessed. All glory, while the ages run, be to the Father and the Son, who rose from death, the same to Thee, O Holy Spirit, eternally. Amen. And now we pray the Ave Maris Stella. Hail, bright star of ocean, God's own mother blessed, ever sinless virgin, gate of heavenly rest. Taking that sweet Ave, which from Gabriel came, peace confirm within us, changing Eva's name. Break the captive's fetters, light on blindness poor, all our ills expelling, every bliss implore. Show thyself a mother, May the word divine, born for us thy infant, hear our prayers through thine. Virgin all excelling, mildest of the mild, freed from guilt, preserve us, pure and undefiled. Keep our life all spotless, make our way secure, 
till we find in Jesus joy forevermore. Through the highest heaven, to the Almighty Three, Father, Son, and Spirit, one same glory be. Amen. And now we pray together the Magnificat. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior, because he has regarded the humility of his handmaid. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed, because he that is mighty hath done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is from generation to generation, to them that fear him. He hath showed might in his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the conceit of their heart. He hath put down the mighty from their seal, and hath exalted the humble. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He hath received Israel his servant, being mindful of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.